Greetings, everybody. Hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are. Sometimes we have to take the bad and find a way to make it light, you know. Uh, just yesterday, my daughter came home from work and she works, um, her job is considered essential service, so she has to go out there. But I noticed recently when she comes home, if she, if I'm in the kitchen and she's sitting in the dining area and I come around, I see her get up and I see her move. I didn't think anything of it at first until yesterday. You know, we were just chatting. She's always telling me how her day is going and tell me what outside looks like and, you know, calls that she's getting and, you know, people's fears in general. And so she briefs me every day about how her day has gone. And yesterday in particular, I noticed every time I move close to her, she moves further and further away. I'm going closer to her. She moves further away. And at one point, she was sitting way over in the living room on the floor. And I thought, why are you sitting on the floor? And she's like, oh, nothing. I said, come closer. Let's talk. And she's like, no, I don't want to come close to you. I said, why? Why not? And she's like, I don't want to make you sick. So I said, make me sick. I'm fine. What are you talking about? And she says, well, you know, I don't I don't want you to go outside anymore either. I said, what? You're putting me under quarantine? She says, yes. I said, why? <laughs> I said, why? She says, from now on, you know, dad and myself will go do grocery shopping. And I like going grocery shopping because I see things that they don't see. I think of things that they don't really think of, you know, emergency supplies and stuff like that. She says, no, there's a rule now where only two persons from the same household can be in the vehicle and one has to be in the back, one in the front. So you're always sitting in the front. You, you won't be able to go anymore. I said, okay. Well, I said, but you guys don't get all the right things. She says, make a list. So she says, I said to her, have you ever seen anything like this? She says, what are you talking about? I, I, I could never have seen anything. I mean, you live you lived in the days of chicken pox. <laughs> Not chicken pox, small pox. <laughs> you were living in the days of small pox. Like people, please do your research. I had no idea that I was so dated. Here I am thinking, you know, I'm like a 20 something year old woman, you know, trapped in a 50 something year old body. But my baby is putting me under quarantine and so worried about my health. But, you know, uh, stay safe, everybody. And, um, you know, operate on the side of caution. Don't panic. Just be safe. Stay blessed, everybody.